what was me just kicking ass a moment ago. I don't know why I'm holding these two Hulk figures, but uh, let's get this thing started. But before we get started, let me take this, this very fancy Thor helmet off. Uh, very fancy right here. See how fancy this is? Yeah. I think I just cut my ear. The God of Thunder is back. Chris Hemsworth is back again as Thor in the third solo Thor movie to hit the big screen for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Imprisoned on the other side of the universe, the mighty Thor finds himself in a deadly gladiator-like contest that puts him up against the incredible jolly green giant known as the Incredible Hulk, his former ally and fellow Avenger. Thor's quest for survival leads him in a race against time to pre prevent the all-powerful Hela from destroying his home, world of the Asgardian civilization. Thor, played by Cripps Hemsworth, is also joined by cast members Mark Ruffalo, Tom Hiddleston, Anthony Hopkins, Idris Elba, Tessa Thompson, Carl Urban, and Jeff Goldblum. It has grossed more than $816 million, making it the highest grossing Thor film in this whole series, and the eighth highest grossing film of 2017. Now I'm someone who's not really the biggest fan of Thor, and I do think, you know, the Thor movies are actually the weakest of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The first Thor movie I did enjoy, while I thought Thor The Dark World was a little weak, and actually the weakest of the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe. On the other hand, I do believe that this Thor movie was the best of the three films so far. Even though when you compare this to other Marvel Studio films, it does feel a little weak in my opinion. Maybe it's just me, but it almost feels like this is a reboot of Thor, you know, when it comes to the film, the films at least, and the character. Uh, this film seems to be taking a ton of inspiration from Guardians of the Galaxy. Everything from, you know, being in another galaxy, the music, the bold colors, and the intergalactic action. Much like Guardians of the Galaxy, this film, you know, it's all about having a fun ride. And it really is a point A to point B type of story. But seeing these characters, you know, on the move really does make for a really fun and interesting time. This movie also shows how these characters can be really funny. I know people like seeing Chris Hemsworth as a serious action star, but I never realized how funny he is with his comedic timing and delivery. It can all be very effective and very funny, and this movie is honestly more of a comedy at times. Even Loki played by Tom Hiddleston gave the viewers and myself some laughs. They really seem to be taking Thor into a more fun kind of road, an action type of road, than the traditional Shakespearean drama that fans saw in the first film or have read in the comic books. It's like the filmmakers almost said to themselves, how can we make Thor more fun? It really is more of a comedy than anything else. Thor, Hulk, and Jeff Goldblum as the Grand Master were all really hilarious. Jeff Goldblum was one of my favorite characters, and he was great in this role. At times it even feels like the Hulk and the Grand Master outshine Thor in his own movie. The way the the way, you know, they kind of tease. Thor made for some really funny comedic moments, like when the Grand Master kept referring to Thor as the God of Lightning instead of the God of Thunder. Goldblum seems to be having fun and at times almost mocking the amount of silliness and craziness within the movie. Like calling Asgard, Asgard. See? Kind of funny. This is one of the best soundtracks I've heard in a Marvel movie in a very long time. I'm glad they used the Led Zeppelin song, Immigrant Song, during a fight scene. And the fight scene was actually pretty early on in the film. The music makes it seem more fun and like a good time. And it fits within these fight scenes very well. When I said that this is the best Thor movie, but still a weak Marvel Cinematic Universe movie, that would be because of the story. I believe other Marvel films were written where the story or villain came off as a little bit more threatening or there was something, you know, really big at risk or at, at stake. Hela, who actually plays Thor's sister in The Villain, and she's actually the villain in the movie, uh, is one of the better uh, villains in this Marvel Cinematic Universe. She does have a good amount of backstory, 
you feel for her character and you understand her motive. Also, anyone who is a fan of the comics will understand how she connects with Thanos and how this film will set up a scene in Avengers Infinity War. Thor Ragnarok shows that Marvel can take some chances with their characters and learn from their mistakes. The mistakes being we need more compelling villains and not for those, you know, these Thor movies to be seen as the weak link, the weak link, excuse me, of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This movie also showed us the real God of Thunder. For the first time he was extremely powerful, you know, with without his hammer, that lightning lightning being all over his body was honestly pure awesomeness. They finally gave Hulk a personality, he just doesn't want to just smash things. Even though he looks all big and kind of scary, he was really adorable when, you know, they actually spoke with the character and got down to his level. Thor Ragnarok finally gives Thor the solo film he deserves as one of the original Avengers, full of laughs, great neon colors, an amazing soundtrack, a better villain, and plenty of heart. The road to Avengers Infinity War is looking really good from here. And Tessa Thompson is in this movie as well. You may know her from the movie Creed or Dear White People. Uh, but she really reminded me of Han Solo in a way from Star Wars. Uh, I like how in the movie trailers they made her seem like she wasn't going to be, you know, a main character. Yet she actually plays a huge role in this film. I still think when compared to something like The Winter Soldier or Captain America Civil War, Thor Ragnarok was missing the level of intensity when it comes to what, you know, that movie had at stake for the characters and the places. It's not, I saw one comment on IMDb that said, you know, I hate this movie, it's a portrayal of what Thor really is from the first movie in the comic book, but I personally don't see it like a portrayal of the character uh, or, the, or like the filmmakers are taking something away from Thor's true nature. I see it as it's a makeover for the moment. But all that being said, um, I actually enjoyed this movie pretty much and I thought it was better than the last Thor movie because the last Thor movie I thought was one of the weakest Marvel movies in this whole Marvel Cinematic Universe and I, I had a good time watching this movie. I do think the story could have been a little bit better and there could have been something more at risk for these characters but I had a good time and it's a fun movie. It's like Guardians of the Galaxy. It's just a fun ride throughout. Um, and this is something I feel like you should actually see on the big screen if you have the chance just for the, the music and the soundtrack and the bold neon colors really in your face. It, it makes for a good time at the movies. I'll leave it at that. But that being said, I really enjoyed this movie and I would definitely love to see it again and I think you would enjoy this movie as well. And you do not have to really keep up with the Thor movies to understand the plot of this movie. Like I said, it almost feels like a reboot of what they're doing. But uh, if I'm going to give this a rating, I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5 hair pieces. I don't have long hair. Uh, four out of five hair pieces. There we go. Thank you. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. There will be more videos in the near future. If you would like to see our thoughts on the Avengers Infinity War trailer, uh, you can see that on this channel and on the website as well, I'm sure. Uh, thank you all so much for checking out this video, and if you haven't seen Thor Ragnarok already, uh, I hope you check it out, and feel free to let us know what you think about Thor Ragnarok. Did you love it? Did you hate it? I'm sure most people are liking this movie. That being said, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.